In this video, I'm going to be showing off how you can retarget animations from one asset and skeleton into another one. Retargeting animations is going to allow us to use them on meshes or skeletons that they were not originally meant for, which can save us a whole bunch of time in the animation process, especially on simple projects that we're just learning with. And for those of you that are getting the skeletons are not compatible error, don't worry, this solves that error as well. For today's example, I will be using the animations starter pack that exists in the Unreal Marketplace. This is a free pack that has a whole bunch of animations animations that are going to be great for future projects and specifically to walk through today's tutorial. So please make sure you go through and purchase this and put it into your library before we begin. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to import that library that we just downloaded into our project. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our launcher and go into our library. From the library you can see all of the things that you have in your vault down on the bottom here. In our vault, we have the animation starter pack. I'm going to press add to project, and then I'm going to choose my tutorial project and hit add to project. Now that it's done some thinking, if we go back into our project, we can see there's a new folder here called anim starter pack. If we go into this, it has all of those animations that come with the pack, and my God, there's a lot of them. Now, despite having all of these animations and the fact that they look very similar to our current skeleton that we have been using, these are not currently compatible with our current skeleton because we haven't told them or created a translator to tell Unreal that these two are similar enough for use. So how are we going to do that? What's our approach here? Well, we're going to create three different objects. All of these things are going to be of type inverse kinematic objects that are going to chat with each other. The basic idea is we're going to create these inverse kinematic objects so that we can standardize our two skeletons, and then we're going to create what's known as a retargeter to act as a translator for our standardized objects. Let's start to tackle this. To keep things up semi-tidy for a change, let's create a new folder real quick. And we're just going to call this folder retargeting. So now inside of our retargeting folder, we're going to create our first asset here. So let's right click, go into animation, and go into this IK rig to create a new IK rig. Once we click, it's gonna ask us to choose what mesh we are picking from. So when we're choosing something, it can be really hard to tell what specifically we need to reference here. And if we look at all of these, they're named very similarly. If we hover over a given object, we can look at the skeleton's source. So here we can see that this is from the game characters mannequin. But if we hover over the second one, this is from our animation starter pack within our game. Since this is from the anim starter pack folder, this would represent the mannequin that has all of our animations on it. So let's choose that as our from object or the skeleton that we are going to be taking animations from. We're gonna name this IK underscore rig underscore from to designate that we are taking animations from the skeleton. With that saved, let's open this. And now let's go over what the heck we're seeing on screen here. On the left hand side, we have a list of every single bone that makes up our skeleton. Clicking on a given bone shows where it is in our skeleton. On the right hand side, we have a list of all of the different animations that are linked to the skeleton. That is under the asset browser. Now what we're concerned with here is actually the IK retargeting section. So let's open that up. So this is where we're going to standardize our skeleton for use in retargeting. The way we're going to do that is we're going to choose the base of operations or our retargeting root, and then we're going to add chains that designate each major part of our body for standardization. So that's going to be stuff like the head, the spine, the arms, and the legs. Now, depending on how much detail is being shown in the animations that you're copying from, you might want to get a lot more specific, but for our example today, just doing a general overview and major standardization is going to be just fine. So how do we know what we want to be our retargeting root? Well, if I click through a few of our different options here, we can see we have a root bone, a pelvis bone, and a spine one bone. Any of these would probably be fine, but I'm going to be biased and say we need to use the pelvis. The reason I'm ruling out root is we can see that root has an uncanny relationship with the floor, and I don't want to mess with that. And then spine, I know, is going to be a part of our spine chain, and I'd ideally like something to be separate for our root. So that leaves pelvis. To make pelvis our root, we are going to right click on that bone and hit set retarget root. That's going to make our pelvis the retargeting root for this skeleton. So now we need to set up the chains. And as I hinted to before, we're going to set that up for each major body area. To create a new chain, we're going to hit add new chain. And then it's going to give you a bunch of information that doesn't matter. You can just hit OK and then no goal. That is going to add this to our chain list. And now we can actually set this up. 
our chain name in this case is going to be head because we are going to be targeting out our head. Next, we have to choose both a start bone and an end bone. And this is going to basically be the chain or the line in the bones that we are going to be drawing with this chain. So what encompasses our head? If we scroll through our hierarchy of bones on the left hand side, we'll eventually find something that will be relevant to us. Namely here, we can see we have the neck bone and a head bone. And honestly, in this skeleton, that is all that we need to encompass our head. So let's go through here and make our start bone equal to that neck one and our end bone equal to that head. Now, it's at this point I will say, I know there's this IK goal field here. I have no idea what it is, but it's also not relevant. It hasn't been relevant in all of my testing of this. So now we're going to repeat this process for every single area that we want to encompass in the animation. For this tutorial, I'm going to be doing the left arm, the right arm, the spine, the left leg, and the right leg. Now you will notice as I'm going through here that I'm not choosing every finger or every toe in this example. That's because I don't care if the animations we're copying from here have that much detail. Now, if you, like I said before, if you are copying from something that has that intricate of hand movements, consider mapping each of the fingers too. So now with each major area complete, we're good to save this and now move into our second rig. Same as before, right click, animations, IK rig, IK rig. This time we're going to be choosing what we're copying to. Now I have been using Quinn pretty much exclusively, so I'm going to continue to use Quinn. So I'm going to choose the non-simple Quinn and I'm going to click, and then I'm going to call this IK underscore rig underscore two to signify that this is where I'm copying the animations to. Let's open this up and now we're going to be doing the very same thing. So as before, we're going to set up our root and then the chains for each of our major bodily areas. The only thing that I'm going to note as I fill this out is we should be making sure that the names for each of our chains and sections match exactly with the names of the chains that we had in our other instance, because this is going to make our lives easier later and you'll see what I mean when we get there. Now with all of that complete, we're good to hit save and then go and create our actual retargeter here. So right click animation ik rig and now we're going to choose the ik retargeter and when we select this it's going to ask what we are copying the animations from so that is going to be our ik rig from that we created before with that selected we're now able to name this and i'm just going to call this retargeter i'm not planning on making multiple of these so it can just be its own thing now let's open this up with a quick zoom out to make sure this mannequin is in frame we're going to go to the right hand side and we're going to choose a target now Going into our IK rig options, we are going to choose the IK rig 2 that we created because that is where we want to send our animations to. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the bottom here and click on chain mapping. Inside of chain mapping is where we're going to be able to see if our targeting worked as expected. We have a target and then we have a source. And we want to make sure that these are an exact match. And as we scroll through here, we can see that we are good because we named everything the same. So make sure that everything matches to your expectations there. And now we can go into our asset browser and we can see all of the different animations that we've now copied. If I double click on any of these animations, we're gonna be able to see both our target and our source do the animation at the same time. Let's do this. So now we can see that both of these animations are doing the animation that we chose in real time. This would be good if you needed to continue to tweak your retargeting. But honestly, I'm happy with this. And now we have successfully retargeted all these animations from our source into our destination. But now what's important is you actually need to export these if you want to use them inside of animation blueprints. To export, you can choose either one, multiple, or all of the animations, and you can hit export. Since I'm not worried about how big this little tutorial project is going to be, I'm going to hit Control A to select everything, and then I'm going to export selected animations. Now, since this is a little bit of a mess and I know it's going to export so many different things, I'm going to right click on content to create a new folder that I'm going to call my target anims. And inside of this target anims folder, I'm going to export all of these different animations. So now Quinn is going to be able to use all of the animations that existed within that starter pack that we downloaded. This is going to be great because now we can use those animations in animation blueprints to actually have them display. Now, if you want to learn how to create an animation blueprint, I'm going to be doing that in our next session. So subscribe and I'll see you there. Or if it's already out, I'll just put it on the screen for you. Either way, have a fantastic day, everyone, and I'll see you next time.